Hello everyone, it's Eki Obujo here, and I'm here to show you guys inside of my Hobonichi Weeks, an updated flip through as of March 2020. So I'm using a different filming setup today. You'll have to tell me um, what you guys think, if everything looks okay, if it looks better, if it looks worse, um, if I sound better, if I sound worse. So let's get into it. Um, I am in my Gilio Anthracite uh, um, Slima Punto, <laughs> um, which I think is just a basic slim. Um, I have my purple glittery Ollie clip with like the mermaid scales on it on the front. Now, I can't zoom out anymore, um, so I'm going to kind of shimmy this around so that you guys can see the whole page. Hopefully I'll be able to fix that for the next time that I film, but for right now, let's just do it. <laughs> so, um, I'm using this Happy Scrappy, um, it's like a little traveler's notebook wraparound dashboard, but I have it tucked in a uh, pocket back here where I have my week slid in, and I made this cute little picture collage of my family and I stick that right in the front here so I can still put all my cards here and whatever but the first thing that I see is my family and then um, I have my deco just tucked in here there's a little secretarial pocket here also and it's super cute it's super versatile um, it's sturdy it's that jelly material and I absolutely love it it keeps me from having to um, tuck things in here or clip them to the leather. Um, so I'm loving that. Everything deco-wise in here is the same. I've been really consistent with all of that this year. I'm really trying, well, I'm trying not to spend money on planner things, but it hasn't really been difficult because I just, I have everything that I need, which is pretty cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, so my cover is the same. The inside of my cover is the same also. If you see something specific along the way and you want to know where it's from, let me know and I'll figure it out <laughs> and I'll tell you, um, I've had these bag hooks all for a long time now through many of my planners and I just, I love them. Um, but I don't necessarily know where each one of them is from off the top of my head. So this is a little yearly calendar that um, I made myself on Microsoft Word. Um, shows me my work schedule, my paydays, and it's like a year on one page. Um, then I stuck some vellum in here, some sticky notes. I have a lot of sticky notes that I've stuck on pages that I know I won't be using, like that are in another language or something, um, just to hopefully utilize them by the end of the year. Um, here's my uh, actual year at a glance page and a little, I think this is Coffee Monsters Co. Looks like it anyway. Um, Koala Australia. Um, fundraiser. I printed that on vellum and stuck that in here. And then this is 2019 and then next year, 2021. And I just watercolor painted them to make them all look different so that I'm not accidentally looking at the wrong year. Um, this yearly tracker I'm using for uh, depression, my period, uh, migraines, and days that I'm sick. So, um, I also watercolor painted this and, uh, just used the little symbols here so that I can see how I'm feeling. Um, I have significantly more up days than down days, which is awesome. Um, and I'm able to see patterns like, um, you know, migraines coinciding with when I have my period or like the week before I get my period. So that's interesting. Um, I have, I think this is Banana Doodle Shop, Vellum, um, 
Star Wars themed, which is super cute, just to divide the year in half, and it helps me um, find it easier. Before I added tabs, it helped me find it easier. Now I have tabs. Um, hair of my monthlies, they're not anything special. It's pretty much my husband's work schedule, um, bills, birthdays, and this month I did the leather, but I didn't bother with that. Um, so I also am writing my cash envelope, cash clip, whatever you want to call it, my cash system, how much I'm taking out of each paycheck for certain categories, um, yeah, how much I'm throwing into the savings account, so I just keep track of how much I took out and how much I had left, if any, and um, keeping track of that there just to utilize the space. And then here I have sticky notes, again, covering up the uh, pages that I don't have a use for, and um, they're washi taped in, but I can always um, remove the sticky notes or add new ones or whatever. Um, it's really pretty purple. So I love those for random notes throughout the year. This is um, from Lasme Korea. Printed it out on all of my vellums I printed myself. So they're digital papers that I bought and then printed um, on my like $20 inkjet printer. Um, so I printed that out. It's one of my favorite um, like designs ever. I absolutely love those bows um, year round. Doesn't even have to be for Halloween. And then we get into my weeklies. Um, took me a little while to experiment and see what I um, what I like the most, what worked for me. And I have settled on this layout here, but with more color. So here I am um, drawing in these boxes on this side um, because the pages start off looking like this. So I use this page. I draw out these boxes. Um, I put my husband's work schedule here. And um, yeah, so that's all I had going on here. I rewrite the dates on the side because I like them to be black and dark and um, like in my own handwriting. And then this week I started writing the week number at the top um, and I uh, here also, I'm always adding like what is going on that week. Um, so here I did what I'm listening to on audiobook, what I'm reading, what I'm watching. Um, maybe significant feelings for the week, um, things I'm thinking about, things that I'm feeling. So I kept this going, but I added some color. Um, and then here I used some, hopefully you can see it, I used some black paint and then wrote over it in white gel pen. And then here I just did a Zentangle <clears throat> and, uh, I don't know why these two pages are sticky. I, there's something on them, but I can't, I can't feel it. Um, yeah, so this was um, Valentine's week. Make sure I'm in frame here. Yeah, so Valentine's week, I um, just doodled in a bunch of hearts. And here I started watercoloring the tops and the bottoms. But I'm um, just using water um, washable markers. So like Crayola Super Tips work really well. And here, uh, same kind of thing. So this was last week. I did throw some stickers in here just to fill in some empty space. But, um, you know, just because I have them. <laughs> and they're cute, but I like my, um, my layouts to be hand drawn and just like handwriting and then supplement later if I need to. I don't like writing on stickers. I don't like the, um, the 
bumps that you feel from having them on the pages. And then if you use like kits and you're always using date covers and you're always um, using the things down here to cover all this up, it's lumpy in the same spot all the time. And when you like close your weeks and you like squeeze it, you can feel like a bulge it, in the book. I can't stand that. So when I do use stickers, I try to spread them all over the place and, um, yeah, keep it from getting like predictably lumpy in the same places all the time. And then this is the current week. So obviously, um, this must be week 11. <laughs> so I could have filled that and I just haven't yet. Um, but down here I had used the markers and then, um, just added a little bit of water for that watercolor effect, but I haven't written anything down here yet. Um, it's probably going to be something about, um, you know, what's going on with, um, the coronavirus. I did make a note up here, um, when the state of emergency started, but the whole thing just irritates the hell out of me. So maybe I won't write it down here, but, um, things I'm focusing on, maybe self-care, um, activities that I've been doing. Uh, yeah. And then this is next week. So, <clears throat> um, I don't really know right now, um, what next week is going to look like for me. I do have to go to work on Monday, but, um, I work for a private school, so it's, it's confusing. All the public schools here are closed, but we're still going to be open. I don't know what they're going to be having us do. So it's going to, it's kind of hard to plan my week for next week. I planned on working on IEPs for a specific district and going to the doctor on Friday. I am going to reschedule that appointment. Um, yeah. And so like going forward, I just have things that I want to work on, um, each week and my work schedule, and then the rest of the weeks are blank. Then I have another, um, just sticky note cover up for notes. Um, more vellum than I printed. And then we get into uh, memory planning, which I'm a little bit behind in, but not too bad. Um, and then I have um, poems from the Tao Te Ching that I've been writing down um, to kind of zen me out and calm me down, keep me positive. Um, I actually wrote, uh, wrote them out once before, but didn't like, of course, I didn't like how they looked. So, and I wanted to split them up differently. So I used um, a little Tomo River paper insert I had and, um, washi taped, uh, blank pages to the ones that I wanted to cover up. So that added quite a bit of bulk. Um, yeah, so that's that whole section. And then lists. Okay, there is a list I need to keep covered. Let me find it stealthily here. Really? What's happening? Why can't I turn my pages? Ugh. There we go. Okay. So like, here's two examples, skincare, OPI polish. I actually need to make one for Sally Hansen because, um, I've been wearing that a lot lately. My OPI is really, it's not good. It's, they're not old unless they're old when I'm buying them, but they're like not drying right. They're peeling off of my nails, like all in one piece. I don't know. It's a giant waste of money, which is really, um, irritating. But the, um, the Sally Hansen polish I've been using, it's like a nail strengthener line, um, but it's got gorgeous colors, like, um, the purple that I'm wearing right now is that, but it'll last me all week. So there's that, my pen test page, and then, um, just writing random nonsense over here with various pens. Because every once in a while I go through a pen struggle. Um, and then my 100, I have split it into 50 books that I would read more than once and shows that I would watch more than once. So, um, when 
whenever I find something that I absolutely love, I add it to here and hopefully I will fill them up eventually. And then I just covered up more pages back here for random nonsense. And I have sticky notes in the back so that I can, uh, you know, like make a grocery list and stick it to the front. And then I just have more uh, die cuts back here. And that's that. It's not a very exciting system, but it's working really well for me. I'm very content. The only thing that I find myself um, changing a lot is my leather cover. Um, I've always been like that. I have uh, this Jillio and then one from um, Sassy or so. I think is the name of it on Etsy. It's really nice, but it's um, it's like a folio, but it has the elastic closure like a traveler's notebook. And I just really like the classic look. Um, I think it's more of a professional look with the snap closure. That's just me. But, um, you know, elastic can probably stretch to accommodate more in the long run. So if I ever get to the point, I mean, it's only March and... My weeks is pretty thick. Let me slide her out here. Yeah. So. It's it's pretty bulky. It is a mega weeks, but it starts a lot thinner than that. So I bulked it up a lot already. I know a lot of that is the vellum and the sticky notes that I've added. But um, as it thickens throughout the year, I may have to move to something with an elastic closure because I might not be able to get my snap closed anymore. Um, but we will see. I really am very confident though that I will still be in this later in the year. Um, it's just going really well and I have absolutely no interest in anything else. So, um, I'd have to go through a pretty drastic um, change of heart or something amazing that I've never tried before would have to hit the market. Um, and I've, tr I've tried pretty much everything. So it would have to be something really like innovative. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys could see okay throughout this. I've been sitting up or standing up, sitting down back and forth, trying to make sure that I'm in frame. Um, and not killing my back at the same time because my desk is kind of low. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this flip. I had people um, vote on Instagram to see a plan with me and how I set up for the next week. Um, not going to be doing that this time just because I, everything is so weird with my week. Um, for next week, I don't even know if I'm going to decorate it. Um, yet just, I don't know. I don't feel like planning when I'm not in control of what happens. Like that's kind of the whole point. Um, but I will be doing one of those eventually. So keep an eye out for that. And if anything major changes along the way, I will post an update. Um, otherwise this is it. So if you have any questions, you can comment below or find me on Instagram at akio.bujo and um, I hope you all stay healthy and safe and calm and you know spend time with your family take care of each other and just try to enjoy this time um try not to stress out too much I know it's hard but uh, do the things that you enjoy distract yourself and don't let yourself become consumed by the media because it's incredibly depressing and it's really not healthy to just refresh things all the time and constantly watch the news like um once or twice a day stay informed but don't drive yourselves crazy so yeah guys thanks for joining and i will see you in the next one Bye bye